you're having fun at the expense of other people and that doesn't make you feel bad not really you don't have any empathy whatsoever if they coming at me trying to shoot me whilst i'm running across the hill and i turn around and hit him with a pistol i don't feel bad they were shooting at me first you understand that the premise of the game is to is to shoot the bad guy and everyone else is the bad guy oh yeah i know that what do you think about goats statistic 60 percent of the time there's one cheater in the lobby lower than i expected the most common time you'll find a cheater is daytime on customs and interchange nighttime you won't ever see one if you do they're probably just doing a loot run so it's more than 60 percent of the time in, in the servers you play on say about 75 to 80 percent when the fun requires the victimization of people's time h for h is I don't like playing against all the hackers. Do you think that using these cheats affects your personal life? Cheating in all of these games, does it does it affect you as a person? It obviously affects you fiscally, but what I mean is, does it affect you morally? No, my morals outside of the game are still the same. Like, in-game, I don't care. Outside, I've got my own morals. He might say that, but I truly doubt it. This person is entirely fit to enter the workforce, yet instead of doing that, he lives, likely, in his parents' home and pays for video games and cheating software with Australian government unemployment paychecks. I would not say someone who scams taxpayer dollars and does nothing to better society is a moral person. These hundreds of dollars that he throws away every single month could be going towards someone who actually needs it. Instead, he refuses to enter the workforce and has scammed the Australian unemployment for tens of thousands of dollars. No, someone who is an active detriment to society evidently lacks integrity in their life. These developers of the cheating softwares, they're operating illegally. Oh, they know it. They know they're doing it illegally. They don't care. They're making fucking bank. I, I don't, I'll, I'll basically disclose a price that I've heard one guy that I knew that made cheats for Tarkov before the website was um, banned completely off the fucking website. Um, they were making about 50000 a month. That sounds about right. I mean, that, that's on the low end. That was on their bad month, basically. On their good month, fucking, I'm, I'm completely blown away. I wanted to ask you, how do you purchase cheats? I mean, normally, is it through credit card? Nah, um, debit card. You purchase cheats through a debit card? Yep. Is there a third party that you're going through with that debit card? Uh, no. I have a friend of mine that I transferred the money to, and that card to the account is linked only to me only i can use the card if they ever wanted to they can remove the money but they don't care enough they see like fucking 300 bucks pop in and they know in a week it's going to be gone i'm not sure i quite understand what i do every month is i transfer out to my friend who puts it into an account that i have the card to and i can use that card for whatever fuck i want to buy with it which I use it for cheats, and if anything dodgy does come up, he can dispute it and go, no, it wasn't actually a real purchase, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, uh, that made no sense whatsoever. In the last video, I told you I caught him in some fibs, and this was just one of them. There's been several that I haven't mentioned in the last video, but anyway, let's continue with the interview. Do you know of any nuanced cheats that other players might not know about? The only ones I can really kind of think of is a Chinese-made one. Fucking terrible. I don't like it. Um, a Russian one. The devs are a bit slow at updating. And you don't get a fuck all response out of them. They don't really care. And um, Cheat Army, which is what I recently mentioned. They're the three main known ones, I guess you could say. The rest of them are either bullshit and they're just taking your money. Or they're just shit in general. So there's cheating softwares that are basically just a scam. Yep. For example, if there is a free cheat, what's the likelihood oh, of you being virus, banned? Mate. That, that you'd never trust a free cheat. Anybody comes to you with the one that's a virus. So in Tarkov, there's just no free cheats at all. I remember in CS:GO, for example, there were hundreds of free cheats out there for people to use. Fuck, not for um, Tarkov. They're all viruses or 
it's bullshit. You're having fun at the expense of other people. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that doesn't make you feel bad. Not really. I just don't understand. I mean, you don't have any empathy whatsoever to these other players. The players that do get scared in game, they shit themselves. Yeah, I do feel bad because, you know, I jump scared the shit out of you. I do feel bad, that I will admit. But if they coming at me trying to shoot me whilst I'm running across the hill and I turn around and hit them with a pistol, I don't feel bad. They were shooting at me first. Well, I mean, that's the game. I mean, it's a looter shooter, player versus player versus I environment. I mean, I won't be a wank back, basically. You understand that the premise of the game is to, is to shoot the bad guy and everyone else is the bad guy? Oh, yeah, I know that, but fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm running out with a pistol yeah, just so I can kill scavs and fucking um, Barry has a fucking arse ass on top of a roof and I'm just trying to get across the bridge and he's trying to shoot me down. I don't like that, so I'll turn around and shoot him because he's probably killed fucking, I don't know how many people trying to do the same thing. He probably has like a fucking high KD. I just ended his streak. Fucking sucks to be him. And I make it across the bridge safe and happy. I'm sure you're familiar with the Wiggle video that Goat made. Oh, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, wiggle. Yep, I remember that. So, 60% of the time, there's one cheater in the lobby. Now, obviously for you, 100% of the time, there's a cheater in the lobby. And that's yeah, going to be you. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what do you think about Goat's statistic? 60% of the time, do you think that's accurate or lower than reality? Lower than I expected being American since he plays on the US servers. Yeah. It's lower than I expected. For here, I think the most common time you'll find a cheater in OCE servers is in the daytime on customs and interchange. Nighttime, you won't ever see one. If you do, they're probably just doing a loot run because they're bored and want to make money. Nighttime has less cheaters generally? Basically, I don't. I think. I've of course, this is found, just hearsay, but I found one cheater on interchange at night, and he was doing a loot run, basically hitting up all the spots for um, graphics cards and all that kind of shit. So it's more than sixty percent of the time in the, in the servers you play on. Say about seventy five to eighty percent. I find it wrong to call myself a hacker. I call myself a cheater or a modder. You calling yourself a modder, right? Why would you call yourself that? Times of GTA 5 on PS3, Xbox 360. <laughs> You've cheated all the way back, GTA 5, all Xbox 360. All the way back then, mate. Fuck yeah. Wow. Every game on the Xbox 360 you could think of that I had, I would cheat on it. So for me, Tarkov gets boring after a while just because I hate the quests. Why do, why do you do the quests as a cheater? It's like doing it. It gives me something to do. Focus on. It gives you something to do. Yeah, basically the rewards, I just sell the rewards, scrap it, or whatever the fuck, I don't care. Achievements in games, you do an achievement, you get happy about it. That's like me, I do a quest, I get happy about it. Well, but you're not doing it fair, so Tarkov quests can be rewarding, but you're, they're not going to be nearly as rewarding if, you're, if you've cheated your way through, through the Tarkov quests. Money number goes bigger, I get happy. That's basically how I view it. Well, like, okay, I That's suppose. What I see at the end of the day is the money number gets bigger. I, I don't know how to rebut that without just being straight up rude to you, so I, I'll just oh, yeah, skip. Mate, honestly, I've heard it all at this point. You can say whatever you want. I don't want to be rude. I just need to. Yeah, that's understandable. I've been playing competitive first person shooters for actually the majority of my life now. I consider. Tarkov to be a, one of those loosely. I'm sure you understand that it's frustrating talking to someone like you. You're, you're the embodiment of several, several years of frustration I've had to deal with. I am sorry if I have ever offended you, you know, but I'm not going to turn around and apologize to everybody else. Well, no, that's not the problem. The problem isn't you're not being, being offensive. I mean, innately, you have that right. You have the right to be offensive. I have the right to be offended. That that's not the problem. The problem is it's immoral. It, it just sounds depressing. Uh, cheating. You, you don't you, you don't work. You 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 cheat in Tarkov. It's basically a job. You're completing quests, and that's giving you fulfillment. This can't be good for your life.
this can't be good for any relationships you may have like this i do have a partner what i mean is cheating in general if you're just sitting around all day doing nothing but playing video games and it's a long distance relationship and you know, fucking not much you can do so even if you didn't have money you still would find a way to cheat regardless yep there was a time for about three months i didn't have any money coming in and i found out a way to do it still wow I fucked myself over heavily in the long run though but i admit to it yeah that's that's really unhealthy dude and again, as, so, as someone who has actually had substance addictions in their past, I can tell you that video game addiction is nothing in comparison. If I can get over that, then, then you certainly can stop cheating in video games. The word has a crazy... It doesn't have the same connotation as it used to. Everyone says they're addicted to everything now. Being mechanically gifted. It's fulfilling in its own way. You can't do that if you have a software assisting you. I'm just terrible at games in general. Like, fuck, I've, I knew you've that. Been, you've been cheating. Like, you've been cheating basically your entire gaming. I mean, I, I'm i just a barely above average in my mechanical skill. And again, I'm to, well, also 23. And I've been playing first-person shooters the majority of my life, and I'm just barely above average. It sounds like you've also been playing these kinds of games for quite some time. If instead of cheating throughout all of this, if instead of cheating you were actually improving mechanically, strategically i can't think of any words but there, there there's basically infinite ways you could be improving but you but you can't do that i mean it's a detriment i've you... given games a go legitimately day one call of duty world war ii i got that fucker day one i enjoyed the first fucking let's say hour before it went to shit a lot of fucking bored of all the sweaty bucks out there that would just shit on me so i was like you want to be a cunt to me now well I've just fucked you and your KD career over completely. It sounds like you're know. really spiteful. I mean, these, these so one one person oh, I'm shoots. I'm a spiteful motherfucker. I will admit that. I don't. I don't care. Fuck. I'm spiteful about everything. Would you say that you lack integrity? Yeah, iffy gaming. I do completely. That's that's so frustrating because it feels like the entire rest of the gaming community feels the exact same way, but. You just think there's no point to play with integrity? Play with morals? To, do you think there's no point? People can make up their own morals and choose to follow them or not. At the end of the day, it's an online game. Okay, well, really gonna a, say? Another difference in our ideology. I mean, there is only the truth. Mate, you can't make up your own truth. There is one truth in this world. Okay, but... No, and the truth is I'm a to many, <laughs> many people. <laughs> I, I, I know that I am. I'm not going to hide the fact that I am. What would you say to someone who tells you the majority of people who cheat in Tarkov do it to make money? So that's a pretty, pretty reasonable excuse people so. would say, honestly. Well, so yeah, I, 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 I agree it's myself. an excuse. Like I bump into another cheater and they go, I'm just using it to make money. Oh, yeah, fair, that's fair enough. Very of course, rarely, RMT is a problem. Well, one of them will turn around and go, I'm just doing it for the end. Fuck of it. I've got nothing else to do in my life kind of thing. Those might be the the few honest of the bunch. There's also, I'm sure there's also cheaters who, who cheat and then so they don't feel as bad. They'll tell other people, oh, I just do it for the money. But in reality, they haven't made a dime. I think that's the main problem. I know that RMTing is a problem, but it is not the main cause of this new influx of cheaters in every game the past five or so years. I, I think it's more of the, the same with you. Like, just people who are cheating because they're they're thinking fuck it might as well and I'm, I'm not very good at the game and 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 i hate the sweaty chads and i i just want to punish them and yeah. w would you say that you could agree with that statement or that you would you would still think that rmting is the main reason why people cheat the main reason is people die and they get annoyed yeah and and, and in that way cheating seems to just self-perpetuate itself someone dies to a cheater they think might as well die cheats hey fuck it i'm gonna do it too it just adds to the problem they're, they think, well, this is so frustrating, they're, and I'm sure they just tell themselves sometimes that there'll be people who, who download the cheat thinking, oh, well, I'll just pull up the whatever cheat there is, and, and then I'll, oh, if there's yeah, any I, other I cheaters, I'll kill them. One guy that 
one guy that did just ESP. That's all he ever did until he got fucking absolutely cocky about it and decided to, you know, I may as well try out the aimbot. But then he found out that he liked it. And then he was like, oh, fuck, this is good. This is good. So he started using it more and more and more. And now that's all he fucking does is just use aimbot. Uh, yeah, the aimbot or aim lock as some cheats call it. It is so odd. One moment he tells me he does not play with anyone who cheats and he doesn't know anyone else who cheats, like he said in the last interview. And then next he tells me all of these people he knows in the cheating community and that can hook him up with cheats and it's just a very strange situation that he put himself in. But but honestly, I can't tell whether he knows nobody at all or if he does actually have friends and contacts that he actively communicates with. If I had to put money on it, I'd say he probably does know some people, but this last story he made up is certainly fabricated. It, it It's just, I, I don't have any basis about that, but it just seems fairly ridiculous. Dealing with the loud minority in my comment section specifically is also just simply frustrating, and it makes me just hate these gamers. It, it, they're just so annoying. Gamers are some of the most obnoxious people ever, so it's it's hard to ha it, it's hard to value their experience. But as an empathetic person, as you should strive to be. You you have to value other people's experience as well as your the own. You guys and the old veterans who shit the game. I value theirs because fuck without them, there's no fun in the game. So, so you lose the new guys. The fucking they're not gonna suggest it to their friends, and then you're not gonna get new players in. It's just going to be the same whole bunch of fucking dickheads that you know every day, today, today. People are quitting video games because of cheaters. Instead of using cheats as well, they just stop playing the game. So you don't even have to play with these people. You're, you're basically helping out the cheating economy, making more cheaters and more cheaters in comparison to legitimate players by these legitimate players actually stop playing or them becoming cheating cheaters themselves if every single person in the game was cheating would the game be fun i reckon it would be pretty funny if everybody wasn't cheating and it was all on equal grounds like a land basically it would be fucking amazing because okay. it kind of gives you on an equal grounds would you enjoy playing legitimately if it was impossible to cheat in the first place yeah, yep, I would absolutely love it more, but people will find a way around it. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we live in reality, but but in that fantasy world, you you would be happy with not never cheating, but everyone's playing on fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me tell you that that would be the fantasy. That is the fantasy. Fuck what they say about um, what's that fucking CSGO knockoff they got out now? Um, Valorant. Yeah, Valorant. They said you can't fucking cheat in that. And what do you know? A week later, there was already cheats for it. I I actively play Valorant consistently, and I've I probably have three hundred hours in the game. I've never ran into a cheater a single time. I don't trust the Valorant. There's like anti cheats that just go a bit too far into your computer. I don't appreciate. That. I, as a cheater, I, I, I yeah, you'd think that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a little too invasive. But sometimes it's nice to play a game that you know everyone else is 99.99% of the time playing fair. So as someone who, who doesn't cheat in video games, it's, it's refreshing to play Valorant. If you try cheating once, you will look at the game completely different. If everyone was cheating... The game would be shit. The game would be shit, yeah. That's what I'm saying. When the fun requires the victimization of people's time. I can't think of a better way to put that right off the top of my head. So when the fun victimizes people, so it, it does victimize people, obviously, because because if everyone was doing it, it wouldn't be fun. There are no victims. Do you see where I'm going with this? I mean... H4H is fucking shit because I don't like playing against all the hackers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking hate it. I get bored instantly. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen videos of it. It seems so boring. Yeah, I mean, it seems like really, really boring. Like, the, like in, in my last video, I actually put footage of a hack versus hack. 
there was yeah. um there was also this YouTuber with over a hundred thousand subscribers who very obviously was an immoral person. One of his, the video I, the only video I watched was sponsored by a gambling website, which was very obviously a scam, a scam ga- gambling website. And you know, a lot of, a lot of cheaters are children, like a huge portion of cheaters are children. So oh, these, yeah. so, so this guy with over a hundred thousand subscribers getting tens of thousand, he's promoting that. But, but his content is cheating in CSGO, hack versus hack, and promoting cheating software, basically promoting cheating in, 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 in CSGO and just in general. So oh, Because Timmy's going to get fucking mommy's credit card and pay for the cheats anyway. Yeah, I mean, what percentage of cheaters do you think are children? No fucking anything about what the credit card purchase is. They, they name their fucking um, billing information. A really awesome way. I actually really like how they do it. Unless you know that you've actually brought that cheat, you'll just think it's just like another bill or whatever the fuck. Are people giving their credit card information to these businesses that are operating illegally? Oh, yeah, fuck it. I I can count on fucking five hands of the people that are... Well, not five hands, on five fingers. The amount of people that... (laughs) Uh, smart enough to go out and buy a um a payway card just to pay for their cheats. Yeah, I mean, or obviously you, you can just get a prepaid credit card, debit card. I mean, and so you can do that, or have a separate bank account. Like for for where I'm from, there's like the major four banks. You can just open up an account with one of the other ones, and fuck, they're not going to question why money's coming in every month and going out to a company called. Barry's underground shipment. 